morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, and uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to this here mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now, before we get started, let's do a little housekeeping here. Um, Y'all know if y'all have any questions and you have any suggestions, you know you can hit me up at uh, www.mentalhouse.com tv.com or www.mentalhousetv at gmail.com. In fact, that's a better place to hit me up at www.mentalhousetv at gmail.com. Secondly, um, if you guys haven't already, uh, Know that you can send me content to the channel. Anything that uh, you deem that is beneficial and necessary when we start talking about this mental health stuff, um, uh, uh, what you feel needs to be addressed, whether it's a domestic uh, abuse or whether it is a, a therapeutic um, tidbit, um, I'm going to leave it to you to send to me. I always love those caring, um, the sense of entitlement, the narcissistic videos. Those are always a love. But just reaching out to let you know that um, I would appreciate it if we could um, uh, um, get that going. And you guys send me some of the emails that you talk about. But let's just be about it. Let's just send it to the me so I can put them on the um, channel. Okay. Also, visit me at Patreon um, for five dollars a month. You will get um, <laughs> very exclusive content and very exclusive merchandise. So check us out on Patreon and see the levels and what's um, going on with that. With that being said, I'm gonna get on to the story. I think I passed the two minute mark, so let's get it in family. Um, this news was a little bit disturbing for me because uh, I see that a civil rights leader, Reverend Jesse Jackson, 79, and his wife Jacqueline have been hospitalized uh, in Chicago. Uh, now, the, the, now, they are fully vaccinated. So um, it's interesting. They have been hospitalized. Jackson was vaccinated with the Pfizer back in January and urged others to get a shot. Doctors are currently monitoring the condition of both. Uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson, 79, and his wife Jacqueline have been hospitalized after testing positive for the COVID virus, according to a statement Saturday. Jesse Jackson, the famed civil rights leader, is vaccinated against the virus and received his first Pfizer dose in January. During a publicized event as he urged others to vaccinate as soon as possible. Jacqueline Jackson, a largely private figure, has not spoken publicly about her vaccination status. The two are being treated at Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago. And, um, you know, because of their age, I'm, I'm sure that um, you know, we're a little cautious there. Uh, but anyway, yes, Jacqueline as well. Doctors are currently monitoring their situation, says Jonathan Jackson. There are no further updates at this time. The statement said we will provide updates as they become available. The Centers of Disease Control and Prevention said that the vaccine, vaccines greatly reduce the risk of hospitalization and death, even if they don't prevent all cases among the vaccinated. While these vaccines are effective, no vaccine prevents illness 100% of the time. For any vaccine, there are breakthrough cases, the CBC said. However, fully vaccinated people are much less likely to be hospitalized or to die uh, from the uh, virus than other people with similar risk factors who are not vaccinated. I'm just going to stick to the story, you guys. Um, I think he was at the uh, last time I seen Jesse Jackson was like probably he was out uh, with Reverend Barber 
and they were on Capitol Hill, and that was like August 2nd, um, it was like a poor people's campaign. Anyway, three U.S. senators have also said Thursday that they have tested positive for COVID-19 despite being vaccinated, though none were ill enough to be hospitalized. Senators Angus King, a Maine Independent, Roger Wicker, a Mississippi Republican, and John Hickenlooper, a Democratic from Colorado, all said they had tested positive for the virus. Um, Dr. King, I mean, um, Jackson, a protege of uh, Reverend Martin Luther King, uh, Jackson was key in guiding the modern civil rights movement on numerous issues, including voting rights. Jackson has remained active, most recently advocating for COVID-19 vaccines for black people um, who lag behind other groups in the United States. And for the past month, Jackson has been arrested twice for participating in protests, demanding the passage of the demonstrate, uh, Democrats' voting bill. In late July, he was arrested during a sit-in at Senator Kiston Cinema's office in Phoenix, where protesters demanded the moderate Democrat withdraw her support for the Senate filibuster. Hmm. Um, uh, let's see. And then on the second, he was again arrested at the U.S. Capitol, uh, along with two other demonstrators. Uh, and protesters. So at the protest organized by the Poor People's Campaign, it was part of a series of events to demand the passage of the Democratic's new election rules to end the filibuster and a $15 an hour minimum wage for protection rights for immigrants. Speakers at the rally that began in Washington, D.C., in front of the Union Station had ended on the Capitol steps, including Lyndon B. Johnson's daughter, Lucy Baines Johnson. Her father, uh, the late President Johnson, was the one who signed the 1965 Voting Rights Act, which organizers say has since been gutted. And it's true. It's been gutted. So, prayers go up for Jackie and... Uh, Jesse, and hope they can, um, you know, recover. And um, I'll keep you posted. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.